so hello and welcome to this fourth video on percentage by now we have discussed important concepts of percentage we've discussed all the important formulas we also practiced a few questions and in this video i'm not going to teach you any new concept but what we are going to do very importantly is we will revise together the formulas and questions that we have done what we will also do is we will practice few more questions so that you're feeling very confident about this topic of percentages so let's get started first i think if you see the first four uh, formulas right are very very simple that means we learned in the initial videos how to express a percentage as a fraction right what we also learned is how to uh, how to express a ratio as a percent right what we also learned is the formula for percentage change so something increased from a to b so the difference b minus a or a minus b upon original whatever your original was and the fourth which we discussed in our previous video was successive percentage change right of a and b that means something increased by x percent then increased by y percent or a or b and this is the formula this is valid also for a negative percentage change so these are the only important concepts the only important formulas right and the formulas that i prescribe otherwise i'm not a big uh, fan of formulas but these are i think very very basic and very simple the other thing i told you in my second video was to learn by rote you know this table that means if somebody asks you one by four automatically 25 percent should come to you, your mind if somebody says one by 11 automatically 9.09 .09 should come to your mind so i think this is something that you have to learn uh, by rote so that you're feeling absolutely confident about this and this becomes a part of your permanent memory so these are the only things that you need to remember now let's solve a few problems together so what i would urge you is that you can pause this video right as we move from question to question and try to attempt on your own and then start the video again to understand if you got your answer correct or if you had any confusion so the first question mike's salary a is increased by 25 percent and his new salary becomes b that means mike's salary has become from a to b there's a 25 percent increase now we are saying if you want to reduce his salary to get to the original salary A, by what percentage should I reduce? So 25%, isn't it? Absolutely wrong. No, if you remember initially I had discussed with you, the base has changed, right? So we have to be very careful around these questions, very, very basic. So how I would typically approach this question is when they say my salary has increased by 25%. The moment I hear 25%, 25 meaning I think in terms of one by four. So I would say, let's say Mike's salary was four. So if Mike's salary was four and it could increase by 25%, 25% is nothing but one by four. One by four of four is one. That means it has become five his new salary. Now, if I have to reduce his salary to, the, to make it to the original salary, by how much I have to reduce? I have to reduce by one and one from what so one from the new base which is five so one by five is how much nothing but 20 percent so let's move to the next problem now this is also a very typical question that comes in a percentage and a ballot vote and you know people voting and some votes were void and some were valid so let's see what the question says in a ballot vote involving two politicians 68 votes were declared void okay 68 votes were declared void okay the winner scored 52 percent of valid votes and won by 98 votes okay let's assume the total votes casted are here okay now they're saying some of the votes are some of the votes are void so how many are voids let's say 68 okay and let's say this is the total area you know the winner who got 52 percent votes let's say he's here and then of course of the valid votes that means the other remaining would be with this guy which is 48 percent right now they're saying the winner won by 98 votes that means what that means the difference of two is 98 that means 52 minus 48 52 percent minus 48 percent which is your four percent is equal to 98 isn't it 
So if 4% is 98, how much is 100% which is the total valid, valid votes? Sorry, uh, this is 98. This 4%, this has to be 100%. So it will be 98 into 4. You can multiply here by 25, here also by 25. Or what you can do is you can say 98 into 25, you can write 100 by 4. If you don't like calculations, let's say 2 into 2, 4, 2 into 49, 98, 4900 by 2, which is nothing but 2450. So have we reached our answer? No, just a second. What is the question? Question says total number of votes casted. Total number of votes casted would be these total valid votes plus the 68 void votes. That would be 2450 plus 1668, which would be 2518. So let's move to the next question. Now, again, this is also a very typical question which we discussed earlier, constant revenue or constant expenditure. In this case, what they're saying is they want to have a constant area. So the breadth of a rectangle is increased by 20%. What will be the percentage decrease in its length so as to have a constant area? Now, area is nothing but length into breadth. And how we have to do this question is they are saying now, what happens is the length actually increased by 20%. So increased by 20% meaning it will become 1.2 L, isn't it? But the area remains constant. So they are asking what would this breadth decrease by? So you have to calculate this new breadth. So again, if you equate the two, you will get BN equals to BN equals to L gets cancelled b by 1.2 or it will be 0.833b that means your new breadth has become 0.833b that means how much it has reduced by initially it was 1 now it has reduced by how much 16.6 percentage isn't it right 0 0.166 which is nothing but in percentage term 16.66 now you know how I will go about this question? I will not approach it like this. How I typically do is the moment I see 20%, so I'll say length into breadth, and they say it has increased by 20%. 20%, what comes to my mind? 5, 1 by 5. So that means I'll say let the length be 5, and it has increased by 20%, which is 1 by 5, it has become 6. Now I know that here the area is constant that means 5 into whatever your initial breadth and 6 into the new breadth but this product and this product has to be same now for this to happen using the simple concept of lcm this 5 what should i multiply here so that this becomes equal and what should i multiply here so i'll say 5 into 6 and here 6 into 5 isn't it 5 6 30 6 into 5 30 now it's constant that means if 5 has increased by 6 and if it's still this product has to be same this 6 has to reduce from 6 to 5 now these are hypothetical numbers but this give you the correct answer so how much we have to reduce from 6 to 5 that means 1 of what is the original 6 how much is this 16.66 percent isn't it answer would be same right it just depends on you which approach you prefer all right so let's move to the last question in our video and this says a student multiplied number by 3 by 5. The student multiplied a number by 3 by 5 instead of 5 by 3. So it is a mistake. So what you have to calculate, you have to calculate the percentage error. So percentage error always means what? Your original, right? Original and whatever he multiplied and here would be the difference. That means the change, the mistake that has happened, right? So difference, right? Into 100. So what would this mean? What is the difference? So he multiplied by 3 by 5. He had to do it by 5 by 3. So let's say 5 by 3 minus 3 by 5 upon what is the original? Original was instead of 5 by 3. That means he had to do it 5 by 3. So 5 by 3 in the base. Now how much would this be? Simple LCM. So how much this becomes? This becomes 15. 15 divided by 3, 5, 5 by 25. 25 minus 15 by 5, 3, 3 into 9. 9. So upon 5 by 3, or you can also put it as this is 25 minus 9, 16 by 15. Instead of dividing here again, you can multiply that by 1 in 1 in 1 by 5 by 3, which is nothing but 3 by 5. 
so 3 into 5 15 and this is 16 upon 25 and since this is the percentage change formula right so there would be a hundred so 25 into 4 so ultimately you get your answer as 64 percentage this is your percentage error which is your first option so by this we have come to the end of this video and i feel you are extremely confident now to tackle any problem on percentage but like i said the key to become an expert at maths or your aptitude is practice so i would urge you to just practice more questions and you can refer our practice questions which are in the quiz section which is at every chapter so you can practice all the three types of quizzes your easy medium and difficult to really become very confident about this thank you for watching all the best